Dr. Sunil from uh, Sir J.C. Bose Technical Campus, Kwan University, this side. I will take up the next session, that is part 2, will take up the types of document object model nodes and how to traverse them, how to implement them. So here, learner will become adept at different DOM nodes and will how it will acquainted with the different DOM level also. So earlier, you must have uh, gone through the basics of HTML and gone through the some what is document object model actually it is DOM ob object model which is a cross platform and language independent convention for interacting object in HTML and in XML as we discussed in previous video it is not possible to access for JavaScript to directly HTML document. It does through only through DOM, that is document object model. With the DOM, we can manipulate HTML, XML document and dynamic HTML. So there are different levels of W3C DOM levels. One is DOM level 0 and intermediate DOM. This is not W3 standards used in Netscape Navigator 2 level 0 and Netscape Navigator 4, Intermediate DOM. Then other level is DOM level 1, DOM level 2. This is uh, uh, introduced uh, get element by ID function in 2001 model and support for XML namespaces. Then DOM level 3, which is introduced in 2004, having some feature like XPath, keyboard event handling, etc. We will discuss this DOM level in detail in the end of the, this video. So what is DOM programming intro? DOM, what is DOM? DOM is a model which describe how element in HTML page are related to topmost structure, the document itself. So whenever we want to access the HTML document, we have to go through the DOM, document object model. So through which we can modify we can read, delete tags, oblique elements, and it can influence the document. If we come to the DOM nodes, what are DOM nodes? Each element on web page, each tag on the web page becomes an object. And here, each object is represented by node, like HTML, head, body, title if we draw the structure logical tree like structure of html document you will find these objects are nothing they are just become nodes and every element every tag is identified by the tag name like h1 for heading 1 p paragraph there is a parent child relationship between the nodes since it's a arranged in a hierarchical manner Every element in the HTML page represents DOM node and these elements are related to each other as parent-child relationship and if there are some another element in a child node they become sibling or parent and if they are being followed by some elements mean they are called parent element or parent node. Node may have multiple children, but only one parent. The nodes which are having same parent node are called siblings. For example, in early example, P, for example, P, some text P, paragraph. And here element node is called P and text node is some text. Combination of these represent the paragraph. Text node is a child node of P. Here, text node is a child node of the element node P. P is the parent of the text node. If you take one example, P, this is B bold, my DOM, B, P. If you draw the structure P, this is, so parent is P and child nodes are, this is, and B is, B is a child node and my DOM, this is a text included in the child bold if we look at this uh, document 
can be viewed as a node tree document root element element thereafter element there is a uh, children are there then their last in we have uh, some text etc so we have different types of nodes one is called element nodes text nodes attribute nodes element nodes are they are the building basic building blocks of the documents such as elements tags and these point to the element itself not its content element only only refer to the element itself and these elements these tags can contain other elements such as html head body a attribute a, a tag h1 heading 1 text mode text mode this represent the content contained in the element node which is enclosed in angle bracket such as my title my link my header and each node has its own value and can be attached to element node next and the last node is types of node is attribute node this node can have zero or more one, one parent so element node owns a attribute considered to be as its parent like href is attribute node hyper reference which is contained in the body for example href href is the attribute of the element anchor tag so here anchor tag is uou href is hyper reference as u o u a c dot in this belongs to our attribute node now text node text node like html head body title text so each text node has its own value and that can be attached to an element node white spaces white spaces may produce text nodes blank spaces etc different browser handle white white space differently so never rely on the number of order of the nodes while accessing the dom for example look at this one example over here in the case of attribute nodes a a got two attributes href and rel relation here hre hyper reference so this anchor element there is a anchor element which is having two attribute href and rel so attribute nodes point to the attribute of the element only so every node has some properties which contain some information about the node so first is node name name of the node node has some following property like element node represent the element name attribute node is the name of the attribute text mode it represent the text itself for example let let's take one more one example for this dom node type let's let's example have example for how to verify the type of node uh, we have a one function check node type variable tag document dot get element id para1 value value tag dot check tag value 1 if it is 1 this is an element node if this is a attribute node type it's a if value is 2 then this is a attribute node otherwise it is a text node now if we let's take to uh, this one first uh, here there is a p having an id like paragraph and when the input button is being clicked the check node type function is being called and it will check the function check node and here it will call get element by id method and it will calculate the value and it will be stored in tag if tag if tag has child node this again there will be one, one more function is used has child node it will calculate some value if tag has child node if it is yes then it will say node has child nodes otherwise it has no child node now in this example body having id one variable which is a value having t1 now if we look at the output this is the output and if we click on check that 
child type it will say it will give the output like it is having having a child node verify child node of it nodes now we want to verify the child nodes here we have a function check node value here uh, body id is t1 and and this p is input as we click on button it will call check node check node function and it will calculate it will it, it will it will recall get element id it will calculate some value and it will be stored in tag and again has child nodes function will be called if it will calculate the value and if there are some value it will give you alert node has child nodes otherwise it will say child node has no child so this is the example for child node to verify child node of the node now dom levels dom levels are divided into different levels level 0 which supports intermediate dom provides low level of set of interfaces like uh, uh, dynamic html or the netscape Nav intermediate dom level 1 which include navigation of dom document tree structure allow content manipulation we can manipulate the content level 2 which support xml namespaces filtered view which also include dynamic html level 1 include navigation of dom and xml document and this allow content manipulation level 3 level 3 having dom level 3 core dom level 3 load and save dom level 3 x path dom level 3 x views and formatting level 3 requirement level 3 validation now let's take up in detail dom level 1 it's an application programming interface which allow programs and scripts languages to dynamically access and update the content structure style of html and xml 1.0 documents this also provides standard set of objects for representing html and xml document how they can be combined how uh, it also provides standard interface for accessing and manipulating these objects dom level one it is also having two parts one is called core other is called html core also provides low level interface which can be used to represent any structured document html level one which provide high level interfaces which can be used to represent html document dom level two it extends level one with the support of xml 1.0 version with namespace and it also support css cascading style sheets as well as the events and dom level 2 defines following specification one is dom level 2 core it helps programs and script to access and update the content and structure of the document dynamically dom level 2 views this allow programs to dynamically access and manipulate the content of html or xml document dom level 2 defines two following specification dom level 2 events 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 are scripts which are executed by browser when user reacts to the web page and this is generic event system for programs and scripts dom level 2 events has two goals one is called one is to provide the design of generic event system and here first of all it registered the event handlers describe how event flow through tree structure and provide basic, basic contextual information for each event. The second goal of event model is to provide a common subset of the current, current system used in DOM level 0 browser. There are two phases in DOM level 2 event model. One is called capturing phase. Capturing phase, uh, when event happens, it propagates through the document to the target element and we, where we are operating this is called capturing an event will propagate through target element to document this is called bubbling phase dom level 2 style this programs to dynamically access the manipulate the content of styles cascade style sheets dom level 2 traversal range this will 
allow program programs and scripts to dynamically traverse and identify range of content in the document dom level 2 html this will allow programs scripts to dynamically access and manipulate the content of style sheet dom level 3 it extends it level 2 by finishing support for xml with namespaces following are the dom level 3 specification dom level 3 core which allow programs and script to dynamically access and manipulate the content structure and the style the document dom level 3 load and save which it allow programs and script to dynamically load the content of xml document into the document object model document then validation events in xpath x dom level 3 validation which allow dynamically update the content and structure of the document and ensure the documents remains valid next topic is dom interface there are number of dom interfaces are there dom api provide interfaces here each interface is in associated with a particular type of node defined in the inheritance hierarchy first is dom exceptions next next is dom implementation interface the next is document fragment interface then document interface node interface node list interface then node name node map interface character data interface the attri uh, attribute attr interface element interface the text interface the command interface dom exception interface is defined in in the w3 document object model level 2 core specification it represents some exceptions errors that will occur into the invalid document object model or when non existing node is passed to argument of a method for example uh, like checking of a syntax error of a node interface does not define the exception for all the error that occur for example syntax error in the argument so there are number of dom exception interface are there if we look at the program this is try try catch this is for avoiding the abnormal encounter of the event invalid character error document create attribute 1 2 3 here dom exception invalid character error alert attribute name is invalid so here script on button on click it will throw a dom exception button and if there is a error it will throw a message attribute name is invalid now next example is a dom exception now next is dom implementation abnormal event which is called exception which occurs as a result of calling a method accessing a property of web api this provide number of method performing certain operation that that are independent of particular instance of document object model like create document create document type has feature these are the method which are used in dom implementation and this create document method is used to create xml document object to specify document type and it is used to create empty document type node and has feature is used to verify whether dom implementation has some specific feature or not now if we look at the example say if we create one list uh, an ordered list my list it will use to create banana orange mango in a list so there are number of uh, interfaces are there we will discuss these in detail in the next video or in the sometime next uh, session so today we will be going to finish this one here you have learned about different types of doms and how to implement dom to access html objects thank you Thank you.